And it's been another week. Hello, here we are again in the office. We got back from Door County, and then it was just, woof, trying to get ready to start shooting episode seven. There's been some confusion on a couple of the boards. I'm gonna clear up right quick. Episode five was the last episode that we put up. I know many of you know this, but there were some people who thought we hadn't even shot the next episode yet. We shot the next episode, episode six, November, December, and January, and now we are shooting episode seven because post-production on episode six took longer than we anticipated. And we had scheduled to begin production on seven here in the summer. What did we do on the show this week? Yesterday, Eliza and I went on a shopping spree to try and get some wardrobe for a bunch of characters that are going to be getting their clothes dirty. We did that successfully at the Goodwill and at, what's the other one? Salvation Army. Salvation Army. If you have a choice between the two, I, I recommend the Goodwill. We preferred the Goodwill. We did. The Goodwill was, was very nice. Good presentation. Uh, they actually separated things into sizes. Very good thrifting. And uh, Eliza's been working on the, the Dr. Electricon fan art that many of you submitted, getting those ready to be in the show next weekend. So, any of you with Dr. Electricon fan art outstanding that we're hoping to get it into the show, this is the last time to get it in. By Wednesday, which is like May 30th, this Wednesday is the last time to get your Electricon fan art in if you want to see it in the show, in episode 7. Whenever that comes out, we're shooting it now. We started shooting episode 7 last night, and it was a great time. I'm going to do that thing again where I show you the first shot of the night, last shot of the night thing. So the first shot of the night looked like this. <laughs> Speeding! Uh, this is uh, Girls in the Crouch 1. What? <laughs> what is it? And... Last shot of the night began like this. Really? Going? Yeah. It's gone too. Everybody set? Set. Action. Yep. And then we were all packed up by around like 1.15. Got home, round two, good times, good times. About two hours from now, we're back to set and I've got to edit this all together, so time to wrap it up. Last week's question was, what would you name your vacation home? A lot of people said, it was a lot of references, like references to TV shows, people like doing the TARDIS, book references. Narnia. Narnia was one. Serenity. Serenity, of course. Eliza and I, if, if we're gonna like reference a TV show, it probably, our vacation would probably have ended up being like Serenity or Sunnydale or Stars oh. Hollow, but honestly, the I Dragonfly. Agree. I know somebody said it in the comments. Um, I don't want to name something I haven't seen. So we can we can hypothesize, but we can't know that that's what we'd name our vacation home until we had a vacation home. But the thing we decided last weekend was Spindle's End. Oh yeah. We were going to call it Spindle's End because that sounds cool. It does sound cool. <laughs> if it fits, well then, buy gum. We'll call it Spindle's End. This week's question, a couple weeks back, I've wanted to ask this for a couple weeks. I was listening to NPR and they were talking about, which is National Public Radio, they were talking about Netflix streaming and how they're generating people's preferences. They're using what they watch to generate what they think the people will be interested in. I was curious about us, like what that would be for us. So I went into our Netflix queue and I scrolled through all of the categories that were created by our taste preferences. Here's some of the ones that came up. Scary suspenseful TV shows, dark romantic sci-fi and fantasy, yeah, mind-bending comedies, witty crime TV shows, TV comedies featuring a strong female lead, and violent independent thrillers. This is what Netflix thinks of our taste selection, and it's not bad. It's not bad. My favorite one was the pairing of dark, romantic, sci-fi, and fantasy. I thought, what? I but that mind-bending... What was it? Mind-bending comedies? Yes. So my question to you is, if you have Netflix, what are the categories that your taste preferences have created? If you don't have one, what do you think it would end up with? Let me know in the comments. I will see you next week.